All right, welcome back. This is Toby. I'm owner of Cape Gunworks and the host of Rapid Fire, your weekly show about guns, freedom, the Second Amendment, self-defense, gear, and a bunch of other stuff that we want to talk about. And not to digress completely off the the point here, but I got uh, Sebastian on hold, so we're going to go ahead and patch him in and he has a question or he has a little statement he wants to talk about and uh i think it's pretty interesting what he what he's wants to talk about i don't think it's going to change anything but go ahead sebastian you on with us hello toby yes this is Sebas. i i am so concerned about this and i don't know how to get the word out i've written to the cape cod times i've written to the boston globe we need our armed forces to train and arm afghani women Otherwise, the Taliban are going to be going right in. In Kurdistan, they don't mess with the women warriors. Israeli women know how to be warriors. We need to do the same thing. It's time critical. We've got only this summer, the September 11th, 2021, we'll be leaving. The Taliban will go in. We know the only good Taliban is a dead one. And women will not have an opportunity for education. They'll be forced to wear burqas. They'll be slaves of the Taliban. Yeah, unfortunately, that's something that's not going to change. I mean, we fought a 20-year war there, right? And that isn't going to change. We're not going to be probably changing the hearts and minds of the Taliban and the uh, no, all those no, we're not. Uh, groups. But we can't equip Afghani women to protect themselves. Yeah, I would agree. And uh, I think that, like you pointed out, uh, Israel, uh, Israeli women are trained in the army and whatnot, and a lot, a lot of... Uh, you know, a lot of them are armed and whatnot and have uh, good training. And like you said, they they aren't messed with. But, um, you know, until it's a tough thing. I mean, I don't know that our military is going to actually do that, but uh, that would I'd be all for it. And um, and so, you know, it'd be good if 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 we did. Uh, but I think it's and essential. I, it's, it's critical yeah. and it's time critical. We've only got this summer. Yeah. The fall, we're going to be out. Yeah. So we can, if we're going to help them, we've got to help them now. Once the Taliban get in and take over, we're not going to be able to go back in. We well, need to get the word out. Hopefully, the uh, hopefully those groups that um that have uh, you know that are going to be uh, hold on, I got to hold you right there. But uh, hopefully, those groups that are going to be left in charge will take defense of their country very serious. And I agree with you 100. percent I my prayers go out to the uh, women in those oppressed countries that you know it's a very scary scary thing to be in but fortunate yeah thank you thanks for the call sebastian um so the the point that he raises is very valid and that is um if you live in an area like um let's just say united states where you have every available asset at your disposal you can take training classes you can Buy a gun for personal protection. You can carry a, uh, you know, a pepper spray or a or a taser, or or you can get trained in you know self defense and how to use it. Take advantage of it. There's don't take it for granted. You know, there's people in this world that are definitely oppressed, and and a lot of women are taken advantage of in these these places, and it's a really sad story. 